swing and a miss. Throw to second from Rogers. It's on time, and they've got him. It's a check swing, call strike. Throw to second, and in time, got him. When it comes to would-be base stealers, Tigers 12th-ranked prospect Jake Rogers has been just like the title of one of his favorite films. Yeah, Major Pain, so I love that movie. It's, it was, I think it was actually, it came out when I was born in 95. Um, but, you know, my growing up with my brothers, my brothers liked it, so we, we watched it when I got a little older, and it just cracks me up. <laughs> the catcher's defensive numbers are no laughing matter, though. In a full season with Double-A Erie, Rogers tallied a 995 fielding percentage while sending a franchise record by throwing out an incredible 50 runners. It's a big part of my game, and I love doing it. You know, and it feels really good when you throw someone out. So, uh, you know, it's uh, when you like doing it and you know you can do it, you, you just keep doing it. And if they keep running, you keep throwing them out. So it, it, was, it was fun. It was a good year, and the pitching staff really helped me out a lot, too, you know, being quick and, and really holding the runners, too. So it's, it, was, it was fun. Offensively, Rogers slumped early in the season, but he would finish with 17 home runs. A big turning point was a three-homer game against Hartford in June. Pitch is swung out and a high drive deep left. Rogers back looking up and it's gone. That's his third home run of the ball game. It was kind of around the struggle time, you know, and, and when that when that hit kind of gave me that confidence and boost to say, you know, it's it's still in there, you know. You just found it, you know, roll with it. And so once once that hit, I just kind of went off and, and uh, really worked and you know, knowing that uh, that that one that one little, you know, three home run game was, was huge for me. It had a very nice Last couple of months offensively, hit some home runs, had fantastic uh, defensive numbers as far as throwing guys out, and, and is still on the common that he's going to get better. Near the net, and he does it again. I just like being a part of every pitch, you know, knowing uh, that a lot of a lot of things ride on me, you know, and I like being there for, for all those guys, for all the pitchers, you know. I like being there, being, you know, someone they can trust and someone they can go to when, you know, they're feeling down or if they're, if they're struggling, you know, they, they can call me out and talk to me and, and, uh, and kind of lean on me if they need to. Just like one special four-year-old boy did this past season. That's, that started right around July 3rd. I had met him and, and signed a couple things for him you know, before the game, and I didn't really know his story. And that, that day, his dad posted a video on Twitter of him going crazy after the walk-off. Jake Rogers hit a grand slam! He's just like reenacting the whole thing and, and saying what the uh, what the announcers were saying, it was it was awesome. And you know, he had open heart surgery six weeks or four weeks before that moment, and uh, and I was just kind of touched by the whole thing. And Nico's just a great kid. He came out and and uh, became a player for Erie one day and signed a one day contract, and that was really cool to be a part of. And it really uh, really touched me. And you know, he's he got a friend in me for sure. Little moments like that, it's kind of what you play for. Of course, Rogers also knows that big moments lie ahead. A major league call-up appears to be in his future, though, for now, he's content to keep his focus on the present. I just kind of keep my head down and play, you know, and it, it's, you know, it's the same game, and whenever they need me up there, I'm, I'm ready, you know, and I, I, uh, I know that, and just whenever they need to call, uh, I'll be there.